What is going on, my survivors? And welcome back to another episode of Deep Into the Depths. Now, I know I haven't done a live stream of this, but then that's because what I told you in the last episode is that I'm going to be building a automated farm where it auto harvests harvest everything. But just in case, you no, know, nothing has happened to me on the server, like I've been tro trolled or something, I'm be jumping on here. I really hope nothing has happened. So we're about to find out. <clears throat> Let's pray. We look good. We look good so far. That looks uneven. Whatever. Okay. We're good. So, anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm going to start doing a time lapse of the build, and in order to do that, I have to get the materials real quick, which they're all right here in my chest. Um, also, disregard this cobblestone right here. I'm going to be um, showing you this later on in the episode, but for the time being, let's get the building. I told you to, to do that is because I'm also recording. Ah. I am doing a time lapse video of this build. Oh, well, then none of this is going to be heard, anyways, because you're going to have it in fast forward. Well, there's going to be some that are just going to be shortened, so. You still might end up in the recording and your voice. So, I've started working on my item sorter. Already? Yeah. I have more than enough iron, so might as well. This is true. You're good. No, thank you. Like, it's really just iron. Iron heavy. Everything, the redstone is actually pretty simple. I don't know how many more I can do, though, because... It does take a comparator per segment 
and I only had a limited amount of quartz. Eh, I got enough, I guess, because I got 61 things left. Jay gave me like two stacks of quartz, but I run through quartz pretty quickly. What? Okay. Oh. So you lock. So, this is the back end of it, so you can't really see a whole lot of it, but I can show you the redstone to it. This is the redstone to the items, to the uh, key card lock. Oh, I don't go here to unlock it, that's just to show the redstone. I could honestly block that off, but I choose not to. But from the outside, that's all it looks like. And so, say I put this puffer fish in there, which obviously is not the key. Wait, it's the key to open the door? Yeah. Oh. See how it didn't open the door? I can't get in. Wait. But if so I put the right the house, item... They can go in if they want to? Yeah. So if I put the right item in, though, hit the button door opens and there's my key card right here in this chest but the item that I put in that isn't supposed to go in feeds right there it's just an item sorter <laughs> it's literally a smaller version oh no if they want to come in they have to either be here while I'm here like, the, the only way into the house is either break a block, which my next project is actually to booby trap all the walls around my house. That way, if someone does break in, they die. <laughs> so, that's the next thing I'm going to be working on, is a security system in the house. Yeah. I mean, since I don't really mess with anybody in here, nobody really messes with me as much. But I don't trust half of the people here. Thanks, Tim. Hey, I said half. I trust that you aren't going to mess with my shit. I do not trust that Stephanie, Steven, Brandy... Not to mess with my shit. The thing about Brandy this is that Brandy lives with you, though, doesn't she? Yes, yeah, she lives with me. That doesn't mean she can't get on. She has Minecraft on her phone, too. I know, but the, the, but but she lives in, in your house, like, in your house house, in Minecraft house with you. What? Doesn't she live in your Minecraft house with you? Uh, yeah. I still worry about her messing with stuff. I haven't played with her, so I don't know if she's... I don't think she's going to troll me. I think she's going to mess with something and accidentally hit something that she shouldn't have hit. I mean, I guess that makes That's sense. That's where my worry comes in with her. Is she's going to, like... Like how you were eating that carrot and you ended up changing the status of one of my redstone yeah, things? Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, I figured out that did actually mess up the whole system, and I had to go under there and pretty much work from the back and work forward to see what messed up. Sorry. Because it threw the timing off somewhere, and a clock got started. In Minecraft, when I say clock, it doesn't mean like a thing that tells time. It means a redstone circuit that is just sending power in a loop. That's cool. It's an it's cool when you want one. <laughs> what 
it fucks with redstone. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Like with this one, what it caused is it caused both my door to just be going click, 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 click. What? The redstone or caused the clock? Sean. Sean accidentally caused the clock because I was showing them the redstone down there and I guess he needed to eat. So he started eating a carrot and activated something. <laughs> yeah, sorry, brother. <laughs> and so it started a clock and it ended up making my door just open and close, open and close. And it was just clicking the droppers over here over and over and over and over so it was just super loud because it was like click 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 with the door going squeak 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 oh my god shut the fuck up i had to take the whole thing apart and start it over because i was like no i could not find out what was causing the clock <laughs> um, Sean is in this world currently, but he is nowhere near me. <laughs> nope. So if you saw him, that's kind of weird. Because as he said, he's like four or five thousand. No, I'm away. only I'm only a thousand. I I redid the math. Still a ridiculous amount of blocks away. Though I did find your old house that I think you burned down. Yep. Over by the uh, town and swamp and all that. Yep. Wait, what? He burned down a house? He moved houses, so he burned his other house down. Yeah, there's. If you see that little house that's over near there, that's my house. He didn't need it anymore, and I guess. I mean, at a point. After you've played in this world for pretty much about a week, you end up with so many materials that honestly, throwing away some doesn't matter. I'm thinking, like, pretty much what I'm doing is this item sorter I'm building. It's going to sort through all the items that I want to keep, all of them. And then at the end of it, it's just going to feed the rest of the items into lava and burn them away. No. You could trade with villagers, but where my house... Yeah. But where my house is, all the villagers are dead. Technically. <laughs> I killed zombie villagers. Because they got attacked by zombies, got turned into zombies, and then I had to kill them. Because they're no good to me at that point. I mean, I guess I could have... Cured them. You killed your neighbors? You could have, like. Yeah, I mean, that's one know. way to put it. Like, I could have cured them, you but it, I didn't have the gold at the time, and I think it's golden carrots to cure them, right? Golden apples. Golden. So you, I thought it was golden carrots. So nope, it is golden apples, sir. It's golden apples and a potion of regeneration. Oh, yeah, see, I don't even have a potion of regeneration, so we're good. Oh, no, 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 a potion of weakness. Sorry, excuse me. I still don't have it. I don't have any potions. All right. All right, my survivors. So the uh, farm is built, and I'm now going to show you how the redstone is going to work in this. Um, what you are going to need for this build is a few pistons. And if I remember correctly, you need smooth stone for pistons? I think, let me go double check that. Why did I grab sandstone? I need smooth stone or cobblestone. I need some kind of wood. I need iron, I believe. Okay, let's see if this is what we need. I don't exactly remember the uh, craft recipe for a piston block. 
And obviously I'm missing something. Redstone. Okay, where's my redstone? have enough. Oh, how many do I need, actually? Alright, so I need exactly one, two, three, four, five. I need five pistons. Depending on how big your farm is, you would need about however many length wide or wide your farm is. You need about that many pistons. This can make five. Perfect. Exactly how many pistons I need. Now, with that, you also need um, the redstone and a lever. So I need a lever. I need a lever. Lever, 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 lever. So I need one stick. Boop. With this one stick will make me my one lever. So, let's get all this out of my inventory. I'm gonna need this, 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 and I'm also gonna need some sand. And a few buckets of water. All right, so. These have to be pushing up, so from here, let's double check. And this will be there. This will fall down. And water will be... This water will be here. So we need this to be blocked off as well. Cool. So all we need to do is one. Okay. I think this is why I need the uh, iron pickaxe in my inventory so I can place these things down right. And then sand it up. And then we're going to need a separate area to do this. So we're going to do this right here. Okay, this is going to be the issue. Is this right here? So we're going to do this right here. Okay. Okay, so what needs to happen is redstone, 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 redstone. redstone, redstone uh, and then I need to go up, redstone, redstone, redstone. But to make it a little bit easier for us, just so we can block this off, we're gonna go this way with it, redstone. I think this is where the water's gonna be, so this actually cannot go here. Okay, so. <clears throat> because of the water and where it goes, the water is going to go here, which I think that should still be good, right? Let's double check this. Since we don't need a corner, is this still going to work? We need that lever back in our inventory. Water. 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 One more. It's always an, it's, there's always another one. Water. All right, cool. Now we can block this off with the sandstone that I don't have. We'll just. 
put sand there for now because I think sand was originally here. And sand there. All right. So the way this is supposed to work, I will fix that later. That looks horrible. What's supposed to happen here is you're going to have crops here, correct? Now, water flows up to seven blocks because and seven blocks includes the source block. So when the pistons drop, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should be the end of the stream. Now, if you drop down a level, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's where it should end. Correct? Oh, I can actually do one more. Nice. So that means if I just grab some more dirt from here, I can actually do one more, which is perfect. So that means I could have a whole nother row of crops. I need to have this stop flowing before I can do that. <laughs> Smart cookie. Smart cookie, Sean. Smart cookie. So that just means I have to make this a tad bit longer. So that means I need to just adjust this off a little bit. Get another slab. Get another fence. Perfect. <clears throat> and there we go. Now, I'm not going to show this on stream, but because this episode is going to run along a little bit as it is, I'm going to implement the hopper system where this all drops into a hopper and then goes into a chest and I collect it from the chest. Blah, 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 blah. I just wanted to show you the basic design of the automated... I keep dropping in the water. Why well, don't need to be? The basic... Um, redstone system where it's real easy to implement. It's just a few things of redstone, a few things of pistons, some sand, and a lever. And boom. We have ourselves an automated harvester, everyone. Pretty easy, actually, once you kind of get the, uh, the gist of it and everything like that. So, yeah. And don't worry, these chests are going to be moving into my, uh, my room down here. If you saw it in the time in the time lapse, I have a, a room over here where it's gonna be my uh, thing. I need sea pickles for this so I can get this thing lit lit up or some glowstone. I haven't decided yet. This is also my aquarium. So yeah, and we have an automated uh, harvester, guys. Yeah, took. Uh, a little over 30 minutes just to do the initial build and then what five minutes to show you the redstone and stuff like that so this is a really easy thing you can do in early minecraft if you have the right materials real simple real easy you can implement it anywhere so if you guys have enjoyed this don't forget to hit that and if it helped you out a little bit in your survivor survival mode minecraft Hit that like button down below, guys. Also, if you guys want to become part of my Survivor family today, you gotta hit that subscribe button, guys. It's a big red button. I know most of y'all who watch these videos aren't subscribed, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys. Become part of my Survivor family today. Also, if you guys want to get notified whenever I upload a video or go live, there's a little bell on the side of that subscribe button. Go ahead and you know, ding that little bell right there. And then you get notified whenever I upload a video, guys. And also, 
thank you guys very much for watching. I am Hopeful Survivor, and I will see y'all in that next video, guys. Peace.